What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is your review for Project Runway Season 19, Episode 4. So listen, this episode is Floral Flash. It is Floral Flash, or Flower Flash, I should say. And this whole challenge is the designers will be creating their own floral print. And, of course, from the print, this is what they're going to be doing. So we start this episode off, we have... Um, the designers are meeting down at this like florist, like like almost like an arboretum type situation, uh, florist shop type situation, and they get to meet a man by the name of Lewis Miller. Lewis Miller is known as the Flower Bandit. He started off where he would leave, like he would like leave these flower bombs <laughs> all over New York, and so people would wake up in the morning and it would be these beautiful flower creations. I don't even know for lack of a better word, these beautiful flower creations. Um, all over the city. And he said his original concept was to um, just make people happy and make me look beautiful and bring some color into the city. And um, Elaine um, was um, the judge that was talking to the designers and he actually did the flowers for her stoop wedding. Now, I follow Elaine on Instagram and I remember... Because they had a COVID wedding. Um, her and her fiance got married during COVID because they had these elaborate plans that obviously they had to cancel. Um, and so they decided they still wanted to do it. So they got married on their stoop in New York. Um, and I remember the flowers because the, it, the flowers were everywhere. I mean, the flowers were everywhere. And they looked like it was a beautiful wedding. They were doing an electric slide in the middle of the street, honey. They looked like they had themselves a good time. But I remember those flowers. And y'all can probably go back to her Instagram page and go and see. She probably reposted after this episode. She probably reposted some of those pictures. But they were gorgeous. So, anyway, he lets them know that their, their design, like I said, they're going to create their own print. Y'all know we've seen this before where they have to create a print and then the print, the fabric is delivered and they have to make their garment from the floral print that they designed um the guest judge this week is supermodel Gigi Hadid which everybody was losing their you know what um when they saw her um there so let's get into it now the way this is done like normally you know um, even before COVID a lot of times they weren't like in the room with the people that they were talking to and trying to relate their design to the graphic organizers. But of course now because of COVID, they definitely are not in the room with them. And so they were having some technical difficulties, getting them to understand what they were saying, making sure that the vision was understood and that they could see. And um, not everybody was really happy with what they got back. Um, I know Pr um, Prajay was absolutely not happy with what he got back. Um, we found out, so let's talk about the designers. We got a little more information because y'all know every episode we get a little more information about some of the designers. So Chastity, we find out Chastity has three, no, two daughters. And of course she's like, listen, everything I do, I'm doing for them to secure their future, to show them that, you know, you go for what you know, you go for your dreams and you know, you don't, you don't back down, you know, you don't back down. Um, we learned more about Chantal. Chantal um, is away from her son. It is his birthday. And so we see her wishing him a happy birthday at the beginning of the episode. And she's upset. And she's crying. We also found out that he has special needs. He is speech delayed. And it's too early for them to really test for anything else, like maybe autism or anything. Um, so they're not sure if it's just a delay because sometimes, you know, kids are a little bit slower. Um, or if it's a legit, you know, it may be a bigger issue. And so she said that makes it, you know, even even harder to be away from him during this time, right? The other thing that we find out is about Sabrina. Or is it Katie? Oh, boy, boy, boy. No. Katie. Yep, Katie. See, I got to go in my notes because I'm still learning these people. Katie is a self-taught seamstress. Katie is very much a product of our new world of social media. She started creating her own designs and she sort of taught herself as she went, as she, um, you know, as she went along. 
um, out of out of a desire and out of a curiosity to want to learn how to sew. So she's not technical. She's never been technically trained. And she's only been doing it for like two years. So it's like, wow, you're here. You know what I mean? Like you're here. You beat so many other designers out. And even Christian was a little surprised when she explained this to him. So, um, so that's who, that's kind of who we got to know this episode. We got a little more information about this episode. So let's get into what was going on in the workroom. Now, Project was not happy with his design. He said it's not quite what he had discussed, but he said that he was going to maybe accentuate it with some actual paint and, you know, just play around with some other things with, uh, with his design. Um, Zayden was absolutely excited because Zayden said, listen, this is what I do. I do prints. This is, this is, this is my aesthetic. You know, I do prints. I don't do muted colors, which is why I was so out of my element in the first challenge. I do prints. I do bold. So he was excited, you know, and he was sort of in his comfort zone with what, what he wanted to do. Um, Darren was struck. No, Darren left last episode. Wait a minute. No, Darren was struggling. I'm sorry. I'm getting my episodes mixed up, y'all. Darren was struggling, but I feel like Darren struggles every week. And at a certain point, something's got to give, Mr. Darren. I like you, bro. But at a certain point, something's got to give. Um, and so that's basically what we saw going on in the in the work room. Everybody else sort of blended in. Christian was cracking me up. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Katie, and we're going to talk more about Miss Katie. Katie was making a kimono. Now, her original design for what she was doing, I loved it because her floor print absolutely looked like something you would make a nice kimono out of. I was so here for it. The final product. This is going to be one of those episodes where me and the judges don't agree. I understand that they're the experts. I defer to them. But baby. So let's get to the runway because that's about that. Okay. Let's go on and get to this. Oh, I was saying that Christian was cracking me up because I love, I love how Christian leads people to water, but he doesn't make them drink, you know? And he, he always, he always words things as a question. Like, you're going to leave that him like that? Oh, okay. Are you sure that this is the direction you're going to go in? You know? Okay. Are you, do you know what your vision is? Do you know where you're, okay. Like he, and I feel like, because what I feel like is that he doesn't make them make a decision so that it's still theirs, but he's doing what a mentor should do. He's guiding them. He's not telling them. Now, sometimes he makes some harsh suggestions, but at the end of the day, like last week when he was telling Zayden, this material has no give. I think you should choose a different material. I like your design, but the material is going to make it difficult. That is not what I'm talking about. That is coming from a place of been there, done that. I know a little bit more than you might know. You really, really need to rethink this. But Zayden was like, I, I got it. And it, it hurt him in the end, but he made his own decision, right? I'm saying all of that for a reason. But I did like Christian because sometimes Christian gets on my nerves. But Christian was absolutely hilarious in this episode. And he was just skipping around the room. And he was like, oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is gorgeous. Like he was... He was having himself a moment this episode. So let's talk about this runway, okay? Now, Ch Chantal, she had like a three-piece pantsuit. Now, her design was a checkered design, and the flowers were very subtle. The flowers were there, but they were very subtle. It was blue and gray checkered, and then the flowers were like Im embedded in the checkers. Like, like if you were up on it, you could clearly see the flowers, but if it just walked by you, you might not be too sure what it was that you were looking at. But it was a very well-made three-piece suit. Now, my only concern with her was, are we going to, are the judges going to ding her for not having enough floral? Or are they going to be like, hey, subtle is good. We'll get to that. Aaron, Aaron had a yellow outfit with yellow flowers. He had like a halter thing working. I loved his outfit. It was like high waist pants with a halter and a blazer over top. I, and it was yellow. Like I said, it was very spring. It was very, it was definitely something that I 
if I had the body yaddy yaddy for it, I would absolutely wear that outfit. Like it was so cute. It was so cute. It was it wasn't office ready because of the halter part of it, but it was definitely after hours. Like like the suit part you could wear to work with a different blouse. And then when it was time to go to happy hour, you go in the bathroom, you put the halter top, you put that old halter blouse on, put that blazer back over top of it, baby, you were good to go. I was here for it. It was definitely day to night. Um, Anna, hers to me looked very Asian inspired. It had like a, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I said, I, I told y'all I'm going to get y'all the pictures. Maybe next episode we'll start. Now that I'm caught up, maybe we'll get the pictures next episode. But it was, um, it had like a, it was very Asian inspired. It had like this high collar here. And then the bottom was like a bustle in the bottom, but it definitely had an Asian inspired uh, uh, piece to it. Bones had a shoulder out situation going on, but um, I wasn't crazy because it was just a very basic black skirt. The top was really weird, but the skirt didn't do, it, was, it didn't flare out. It didn't do nothing. Like the top I might have picked up, but the, the skirt I definitely wouldn't have. I, it just did. I don't think it, and I don't even think it flattered his model. I liked the top though, but I, I just I wasn't here for that for the bottom. Coral, Coral had a really good idea, but I think Coral bit off a little more than she could chew this week. I think she knew she had immunity, and I think she felt like, well, if I don't quite get it, I'm I'm not going home. Um, it wasn't her best look. It it was it, it had a lot of some it had a lot of things going on. But I liked the idea. I liked where she was headed. She just didn't get there. And she even said herself she needed about two more hours. And I think she could have done it. I think if she had about two, maybe three more hours, I think we'd have got there. Um, Darren had um this his was now I knew we were in trouble because Darren said. I love my look. It's very modern. It looks very, um, what was the prequel to Sex in the City? Um, Charlotte's Diary or something. Not Charlotte. What was her name? What was the girl's name in Sex in the City? And it was like her diary. It was like her in high school. It was like the prequel that came out a couple of years ago on like the CW. And then the other reference he used was like another old show that's not on the air anymore. I knew then we were in trouble because when you say it's very modern and chic, but then you reference shows that ain't been on TV in three or four years, it can't be modern or chic. Um, I thought it was very teeny bopper. I don't know. It 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 was. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it, but it definitely was not one of my favorite looks. But I didn't hate it. Um, Octavio had a black and white, he had a black and white halter dress. His, his model was a BBW and as a BBW, I absolutely would have worn that dress. Like I want it. Like that dress was, it was so cute and it was so flattering to her figure. And it was, it was a summer, like a, um, a, like a, a maxi halter dress. Now I will say this Octavio, I'm liking what you're doing, but don't get complacent. And Christian sort of said something to you as well that your stuff is starting to look the same. Um, that was the same thing with Darren. Like, he's made the same skirt three weeks in a row. Um, we know he ain't made nothing that first week, but anyway, that's no conversation, child. We ain't gonna go there. <laughs> Sabrina had, um, she had this beautiful bodysuit, and she had a burqa, because she's from the Middle East, so it was a, it was a nod to her culture, and to women who choose to wear the burqa but can still look nice, so be dressed well and be confident. She she started second guessing herself because the way her the way her flowers fell, it looked like there was an arrow in on the crotch area, and I think that made her uncomfortable. And so what she then did was she created a a skirt to be like an overlay to sort of cover that up a little bit. I think had her flowers not been placed in that area that it looked like they were zeroing in on the crotch, I don't think she would have ever made that skirt. Um, the skirt totally took away from the bodysuit. I thought that bodysuit was beautiful. I thought the burka looked really nice. Um, but that skirt made it hideous. Like it just, and it looked like an afterthought and it looked sloppy and it didn't blend. It, it just, it, it was horrible. And when she was on the runway and the judges asked her to take the skirt off, they all were like, oh my gosh, like if that had come down the runway, well, I'm talking, I'm getting ahead of myself, but if, I'm just going to say it now. If that had come down the runway, you'd have been in the top. 
Katie, Katie's outfit looked like a, I wrote clown suit is what I wrote. It had a whole lot going on. It, she did not edit well. It was just stuff everywhere. It was just stuff everywhere. Shout. Sure. Now, Project's dress. Project had great ideas. He was going to do some paint because he wasn't crazy about his print, how his print came out. He said it wasn't what he envisioned. It wasn't what he what he wanted. So it, it, he was going to do a print dress. I mean, he was going to do a little paint on it. Then he was going to add a bow and a, and some other stuff. And he once he made the dress, he said, I don't need any of that. And he's absolutely correct. That dress was gorgeous. It was a mermaid, like tight fit at the bottom, and it was a plunging neckline, and it had the the um I don't know the the, the cap they weren't cap, but the the sleeves sort of came out at like a ruffle. That dress was gorgeous. That is a, that dress you could have worn to uh, after five wedding. You could have worn it to a, a formal event. It was oh oh, and their their outfits were supposed to be runway, not ready to wear. Supposed to be runway, not ready to wear. Okay. But I was here for Project's dress. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Zayden, I wrote large neck. Oh, I don't even know. I can't even read my notes. Um, damn, I can't even read my notes, Zayden. I'm sorry, baby. I, don't, I can't. I can't. But I wrote I liked it. I wrote I liked it. I'm sorry, Zayden. Mm. I'm going to come back to Zayden. And then Christina, Christina had a kimono, but it, I mean, it was supposed to be a kimono, but it really ended up looking like a robe over top of a nightgown. Now, the judges went up for it. Well, first of all, I didn't like it because, number one, I thought this was supposed to be runway and not ready to wear. That looked straight up. Lane Bryant catalog, lounging, watching Netflix and chill with, with some with some popcorn and some bonbons. That's what it looked like to me. Then the the um dress underneath, I mean the nightgown underneath looked wrinkled. Like it literally like it looked like she had just woke up. I don't know what the judges saw because I did not see what the judges saw. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was I didn't think it meant the challenge. I again when she was going to do a kimono, I was here for the kimono. I was absolutely here for the kimono. But that ain't what it turned out to be. And I ain't like it. I ain't like it. So, let's get into it. So, the tops were Chantal, Christina, and Praje. So, as you can see, the judges love Christina's look. I didn't. Chantal's look was that three-piece blue and gray checkered suit. And then I just told you about Project's dress, right? The bottom was Darren, Sabrina, and Katie. Listen, let's start with the top and we can get to the bottom. The deliberation, the judges were trying to decide if they really liked Chantal's look. But remember, I told y'all, it wasn't very floral. And they were like, well, can we have someone win the floral challenge when floral isn't boom in your face? And the judges were like, yeah, because it doesn't have to be boom in your face. They met the challenge. The floral was there. And it doesn't have to be like, I like the fact that it was subtle. And I was feeling the same way. I like the fact that it was a subtle floral print, that it wasn't in your face and it didn't slap you upside the head. I like the fact that it was very, very subtle. I was here for that. So the judges were two. She won. Uh, Praje and um, um, Christina, obviously, they're in, you know, going to the back. Then we get to Darren, Sabrina, and Katie. Now, again, if you've been watching this show as long as I've been watching this show, you know how this was getting ready to go. Darren has been in the bottom all three weeks. The only week he wasn't in the bottom was when somebody else made his garment. So, Darren, child, you going home, okay? But... Again, um, Katie, the, the, Sabrina was saved once she took that skirt off and they saw the bodysuit without the skirt. They loved the bodysuit. And I feel like had her model gone down the runway with just that bodysuit on without that skirt, she might have been in the top. I feel like she might have knocked out um, Christina. Because I don't think Christina should have been there to begin with. But moving on. Um, but Darren, unfortunately, this is where his journey ends. Everybody liked Darren. Nobody wanted to see Darren go home. 
But you know, listen, that's the, that's the game. That's what we're doing here, right? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.